M River dredging. This is head cut erosion in action, the dynamic rebalancing of a riverbed's gradient, and it's visible as a progression of a nick point in an upstream direction. Watch what happens to the rate of this process when the riverbed is dug out. It dramatically speeds up and can have destabilising consequences. The same is true of any attempts to increase a channel's capacity above its self-determined dimensions, especially when this is complicated by engineered channel components like culverts or bridge arches. Dredging to increase capacity here causes a large increase in the demand for sediment from further upstream. This demand must be met by a matching increase in erosion of the riverbanks and bed. which could significantly destabilise riverbanks a long way from the actual dredging site itself. As well as in more obvious locations. Of course, by meeting the demand for material, the dredge reach immediately fills up again to its equilibrium conditions and the dredging has failed to achieve its goal. During that refilling process though, the interception of sediment that is trapped in the dredge pit means that there is less sediment moving downstream. This increases erosion downstream of the dredge site as the trapped sediment is needed to replace material washed away by the river. Significant destabilising of the downstream channel can occur as well. So doing this can lead to this if you don't know what you're doing. And it might even happen miles away from your dredging activities. So is it expecting a lot of landowners to have sufficient knowledge of river hydrology and geomorphology to understand the consequences of deregulated dredging?